So I'd like to share another one of those tricky examples. And um, so this particular example is just a small demonstration of modularization. And essentially what happens here is we're given three variables, 10, 20, and 30, all with corresponding um, letters here. And essentially what happens is Y is equated to a method which takes in all these three variables as parameters. And so Y would be equated to the addition of X, Y, and Z, and that's what we'd think. Um, and so, and so let's actually go into the method and see what happens. So keep in mind that whatever is gonna happen is equated to Y. So we go into the add method and it takes X, Y, and Z, X, Y, and Z, which are in this particular aspect, 10, 20, and 30. So it takes 10, 20, and 30, X, Y, and Z. And then it sets X equal to the addition of all three of them. So X is in this particular aspect here, if I have, if I have X, Y, and Z, then X is again, equated to the addition of all three. So X would actually be equal to 10, 20, and 30, the addition of these numbers, which would evaluate to 60. So X is actually equal to 60. And then we return that value back to the main method. And so all we're doing here is we're returning the addition of all three numbers and storing that in X and returning that back to the main method. And then of course, equating that to Y. So since X is equal to 60 in this particular regard, in other words, since X is equal to the addition of all three and Y is equal to, the, to X, that would mean that Y is also um, equal to the addition of all three. So, y would actually be 60 since y is equal to x. Um, and in this particular aspect here, uh, x would just be 10 and z would just be um, 30, right? Because we're only changing the value of y, we're not changing the value of x or z here. 